<laughs> yeah, wrecked. <laughs> Hang on. Um, where is it? There it is. Okay. Um, you get the feeling that um he. He's sort of speaking the truth, but not necessarily the entire truth. Maybe he knew that something was needed, but didn't know exactly what was needed. Mm. Let's, uh, put the cards on the table, so to speak. You know what I am, do you? Someone who likes to beat around the bush way too much and call called me out here. You know that I can compel you to speak the truth, don't you? You can ask friendly, yes. But I am aware that paladins and clerics are capable of casting spells that will force you to either speak the truth or not say anything at all. And out of respect, I have chosen not to do so. How very friendly. Might I... ask that you, uh, share the same courtesy with me, then? <laughs> he... he just... nods. And he says, whatever I can tell you, I'll tell you for a price, as always. You actually know about the cults? I know about several cults in the area. And what's Which your involvement in them? Not much. Occasionally trade for, for resources. Gotta inside that one again. Jesus. Jesus! Excuse me! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Um. He seems to be speaking the truth. You don't get the feeling that he's necessarily lying to you. But again. It's it's one of those things where if he says, you know, his involvement isn't much, it might be he considers it as not much. And he's like, oh yeah, I, I sold them, you know, some, some random amulets. I don't care about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's part of the fucking amulet or something like this. But um, yeah, he, he considers it as no big involvement at all. All right, just one sec. All good. What is the rest of you doing right now? I am Aside from getting drunk. <laughs> quietly sipping my ale with my elf ears <laughs> nice and open. <laughs> kind of like a movie. <laughs> I feel like yeah, Sam you... is getting restless. He sees the boat and the water and he's like, God damn it, I want to go fish. Just <laughs> like, let me out. take the boat. <laughs> I mean, I just see it turns from, mm. <laughs> Good move. <laughs> yeah, um, because you're not relatively, like, not far away and it's it's nighttime, there's not a lot, lot of sound, you can all hear the conversation fairly well. So, you're all up to speed of what's going on. Sorry about that. All good? Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, uh, he oh, right, he yeah. seems to to think that his involvement in any of the cults is not of big importance. Like he doesn't do a lot with them. And what about your own interest as it pertains to the? Uh, oh crap! What was the name of the god again? Tharazdun. 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 And what are, what of your own interest as it pertains to Tharazdun? I don't see why that would be any of your business. I've come here to buy some rare ingredients, but if all you want to do is annoy me with stupid questions, then I'm just going to take my leave. I'm 
medallion that I have in my possession directly pertains to Tharos Dune. <laughs> um, he he just shrugs and he says, "So what?" Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Finally found that one. <laughs> uh, hang on. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you... You look at him and you see, like, his eyes sort of light up for a moment before he regains his, his posture and he just plays it off. But he definitely didn't expect that. Now, I imagine that that medallion is of particular interest to you, is it not? He... He looks at you, and he thinks for a moment, and then he says, Well, it is certainly interesting from an academic point of view, but it is not really my area of expertise. Maybe bring it to the what cleric. Do you know the cleric well? As well as I know other people in town, briefly. I know of several who would find it academically interesting, but what about practically interesting? <laughs> practically interesting? I mean, it's... What even is it? A piece of stone? A piece of metal? Oh, you know, the means to actually summon Tharos Dune into this world. If it's real. I have... If you have the the rest of the ingredients, which is a pretty big if. Of course, the question is, is... Who in this uh, land has interest in obtaining the rest of those ingredients? Well, I would assume as you've been badgering me about this for hours now, the, uh, the cult of Tharys Dune, so maybe you should go to them and sell it. Perhaps I might. Do you have, uh, <laughs> directions accordingly? No, I do not. And but... he, he looks at Galen and he just shakes his head and he says, this isn't going anywhere. I'm going home. You did say that you traded with them. <laughs> he he looks at you and he says, Yes, I trade with a lot of people. That doesn't mean I know where they live. How were you able to trade with them if you have no means to contact them? They contact me if they have interesting things. Mm. Is that it? So the amulet isn't of any interest to you then? I don't really care about it. I did ask you not to lie to me. <laughs> he, he just crosses his arms and he says, well, if you're willing to just hand it over, I would take it and I would sell it to them because they would probably pay me a nice sum of money. But and if you are asking if I wanted to bring about the end times, then no, I don't care. Inside that one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, all the good rolls are gone now. <laughs> ah, the good rolls had that lucky streak for a while. <laughs> yeah, no, he seems to be sincere. Oh, well, then if he... I went through with the original plan to destroy it, you wouldn't see any issue with that? Go ham. I don't care. And he turns around and he just starts walking off. 
I will stop. activate the cube to stop living matter from leaving. Alright. Alright. <laughs> it pops up and he doesn't actually seem to see it and he just runs into an invisible wall. <laughs> Kill us there too. <laughs> he he curses and he, he sort of turns around and he says what is your plan? I want the truth from you. I want to know exactly what your dealings with these cultists have been. I want to know exactly what your interest in Tharazdun is. And I am getting very, very sick of the lies, both of commission and omission. <laughs> he stares at you, and you can see that he's like... You almost get the feeling that because Gellin is here, he's sort of holding back. Like, he keeps looking over at him and just sort of seemingly reminding himself to just stay calm. And he, he says, I have already told you everything I'm ever going to tell you. And free of charge for that. So either you drop this barrier or we are going to have some problems. You know what my task is in this land. Annoy the living shit out of ordinary citizens. Hang out with a bunch of absolutely insane people. Where are they, by the way? Where are your friends? The insane people was, uh... Not planned for, to be honest. Well, I'm su surprised you hang out with them. I mean, Beggars they've been accused of be murder. <laughs> Although, from my experience thus far in this land, uh, most people probably could be accused of murder. But of course not you. Upright citizen. Good paladin. Mm. Now, the dilemma for you is that I do have reason for there to be a problem with between you and I. Because I've traded with cults. Opposed from... You know better than that. He... He, like, tries to... To, to gauge your reaction, and you almost get the feeling that he's trying to figure out what you know. And he, like, looks over at Gellan, and he says, I'm gonna say this one more time. Drop the barrier. You're gonna make sure that I am positioned between him and Gellan. Gellan is like, you know... <laughs> Just <laughs> calm down, everyone. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I'm afraid but that I he... can't. Oh, sorry. Yeah. He he stays out of it for the most part. Like he's sort of behind you. You know, he's like I'm... you two do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I can't do that until you start telling me the truth. God, if I had known that paladins are this dense, I've already told you. The truth. It's not my fault you don't want to listen to it. Do you want me to give you the receipts of the things I've traded with them? Because I don't have you... them, I can't do that. Well, what did you precisely trade with them? I know you seem to think it's of no consequence, but they wanted them, so what were they? Alchemical resources. They sold me some, I sold them some, the usual thing. There aren't Nothing. that many uh, spellcasters that have the money to afford the resources I'm interested in. Occasionally a few spell scrolls. What kind of magics could be done with the alchemicals that you traded with them? <laughs> 
Uh, yes, you can prepare the spell magic. Um, <laughs> he... He looks at you and he says... I've told you this before. Any information you want, you pay. So if you give me 200 gold, I'll tell you. I have 200 gold on me. Where is my gold even listed? Oh, there it is. Oh, I actually do have 200 gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I get to keep my gold then. <laughs> I don't have to give up my gold. <laughs> I think that I've uh, also he would paid a reasonable amount to you already, given the lack of honesty you have shown. <laughs> um. Also, oh Jesus. Uh, yeah, when he, sorry, when he talked about, you know, just a few alchemical resources and nothing else, that was a flat out lie. Like, there, he definitely did something else, you know that for sure. Yeah. He for sure did something else. <laughs> and, but he just shrugs and he says, money or no information. Well then, I suppose you're not leaving this, uh, little area after all. Not unless you talk. He... looks over to Galen, and he says, Really? Are, we, are you just gonna... are you just okay with this farce? And Galen is like, just answer him. He wants to know, and <laughs> you can see him getting really frustrated with you. Mm -hmm. Um, <sighs> and <sighs> he he says. All right, that's it. And he like points at sort of the floor next to him. And if you want to interrupt, then tell me we can we can start combat. But he's not really attacking you right now. Yep. He just points at the floor, and you can see sort of the earth um, shape, like start to move and shape up. And out of the ground, a pretty big elemental comes up and stands hulking next to him. And he's like, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Drop the barrier and leave me alone. He already casted the golem, right? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Too late to interrupt the game. No, if you want to interrupt it, you can you can do it. I'll That's why it's it All right. I'll do it for later. I mean, I wouldn't have any ways to stop it from casting a spell anyway, because I don't have, like, counter spell or anything. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, if anyone wants to. Like, he's no. still not attacking you, he's basically just trying to threaten you into letting him out. Yeah. What was his name again? Sorry, I've completely forgotten. Keladek. Keladek. Keladek, that's it, yeah. Keladek... Neither of us are leaving until I have my answers. You know what? Give me a persuasion roll. Not too bad at them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Alright. <laughs> he... He frowns. And... He says... You know what? Fine. Fine. It wasn't just alchemical components I also helped them set up a portal but that's all I did alright well, inside that 
<laughs> Yay, my good rolls are back! <laughs> he's, he's definitely speaking the truth. Yeah, this time he's not lying. I presume that the portal is to assist with the summoning of Thera's Dune? In parts, yes. It's to transport resources from one point to another. And it was rather difficult to set up, I can tell you that. I could imagine. Was your interest solely monetary? Yes. And it did gain me some favors. Insight again! <laughs> you do not trust anything that's coming out of his mouth, do you? Nope. Uh... Yeah, no, he... Seems to be speaking the truth. Oh. I don't care about the gods and their dealings. I care about my research, and that's pretty much it. I can do it here, I can do it on any other plane, I don't care. Well, Galen. You've heard it yourself. He has assisted this cult in the summoning of Thara's Dune, which uh, would not exactly bode well for Salt Marsh. I know that he's your friend. What are your thoughts? Galen thinks for a moment, and then he looks at you, and he says, Was my friend and just crosses his arms and stares at the wizard. Like, he's pissed. <laughs> you can tell. I don't appreciate anyone assisting the destruction of the place where I live, and unlike you, Killerick, I don't have the luxury of just leaving this place. And Killerick just shrugs. He doesn't care. And he, Keladic just looks at you, and he says, now, are you going to drop the barrier? Can we kill him now? <laughs> <laughs> My brother was always the one more inclined to justice, and myself to mercy. I think right now I need to take on some more of my brother's traits. You're not walking away from here. And I draw my sword. <laughs> Alright. Let's roll. Yes. Let's roll some initiative. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Slow and steady. Uh, I'm always okay. Initiative. You are a, you are a dwarf. <laughs> oh, I am attempting to use a roll command. I have to yeah, you it. need to have your token selected. Oh my dude needs to be selected, okay. Oh, that was 2 DM. Sorry. Sam's fishing, probably. Roll the 7. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, I just to get my rod. I'm stuck to read something real quick. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just curious. Uh, if I'll use Dispel Magic on the Golem, will it, like, destroy him or something? Um... Nope. Okay. Yep. No, sorry. Ah, it's all good. Just asking. Yeah. Um There's but, some okay. summon spells that works on and some that they don't. If yeah. My memory serves. Yep. I think so, yeah. Uh but this one it doesn't. Well it, um, yeah, he summoned a non magical creature, I guess. He just animated some booth. Uh, uh, right, okay. It wasn't actually an earth bottom. Yeah, it's... Does it? Wait, can you post me the dispel magic? It says choose a creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level, and etc. Blah, blah, blah. It just says choose creature, object, or magical effect. 
Any spell of third level or lower on the target ends. Hmm. I guess it depends on if it's still considered a magical effect. If that thing has magical stuff. It looks like it's saying that it ends an effect on a creature object or magical effect, yeah. not the actual creature itself. Yeah, I, I think usually yeah. the summon spells will yeah. specify if dispel magic works on them or not. Yeah, no, it doesn't work on them. Mm -hmm. um, I just read. Uh, also, I am going to change the earth elemental into a water elemental. I hope you don't mind because I don't have the fucking earth elemental token here. <laughs> I lied! It's actually an earth elemental, but it looks like a water elemental. Yep, and it's yep. massive. Yep, cool. <laughs> no, it is actually a water elemental. He just pointed at the water instead of the dirt. Oh, okay, it is. Right. Yeah. Um, because for some reason I don't have the... Earth. Must have gone something wrong. It's fine. Doesn't matter. He can choose which one it should be anyway, so... Alright, um... Let me... Oh god. Let me just sort the initiative. The whole reason I was doing this was because I have to roll initiative for the freaking elemental. That's why I was looking for it. Alright, well... Stolgerg, you see all of this go down and you have been waiting. You have been sitting there just shivering in anticipation. Go ham, what are you doing? I'm gonna let Janice take his turn. That'd be nice. <laughs> I am going to cast Hunter's Mark on the uh, wizard. And okay. I am just going to pop him with my longbow. And then... Um... Can you p just post me Hunter's Mark real quick? Sure. Just for no reason. Uh. Uh. Boop, 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 boop. You might want to turn off the cube thing so we can get inside. Oh, it's stopping, it's only stopping living matter at the moment. So if you've got ranged attacks, they'll go through and spell attacks will I go through. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, oh, shit. I don't know how to erase um, so that. Anyway, so. Yeah, uh, Shadows, you cast Counterspell. I cast Counterspell? What? Uh, you cast a spell and he casts Counterspell. Alright. Fair enough. Well, I'm just going to shoot him with my longbow and shoot him again with Blossom Slayer on. Alright. Um, um, you're going to have to take the 1d6 damage. Bow hit. Okay. Is... Only one. <laughs> <laughs> so, 17. Then... Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I accidentally drew a shape on the map. I don't know how to kill it. Oh, that's how I kill it. Just select it and delete. Ah, victory! <laughs> it's like, I'll eventually learn how to use this system. But why would you? It's terrible. <laughs> um, why is Janice here twice? It's special. I am not on my screen. You just got rid of me completely. Okay. Yeah, I don't see you either. Alright. That was a mistake. Oh, what was your initiative? You. 17, 17, right? 17, yes. Sorry. Good. Didn't mean it. Yes, you did. Alright, anything else you want to do? Um, and then I am. I'm just gonna stay here. Okay. What was the radius on the cube? I should actually draw that, shouldn't I? 15 feet. Yeah, feet. Was... 15 feet. Cool. From center, right? I think from uh -huh. where Brathar is. Yeah. 